All right, welcome into another day of our daily devos in the Psalms. Pastor Rick here, ready to jump in and dig through chapter 31 of the Psalms. Uh, we're actually, I think we're going to cut this one in half because it's a little, it's a little uh, too many verses, I think, just taking one crack at it. So we're just going to jump in and let the word of the Lord speak to us today. And so here we go. Lord, I seek refuge in you. Let me never be disgraced. Save me by your righteousness. I love, again, uh, we've mentioned this before uh, in our time together in the Psalms, is like, I seek refuge. I take refuge. I that I don't want to just expect God to meet me in the place where I'm doing all the messed up stuff. That I need to seek refuge refuge in him. I need to move myself closer to him. The word of God says, if we draw near unto him, he will draw near unto us. And so I want to make sure that we're taking that effort and we're reaching out to him and we're drawing near to him so that we can be closer to him and kind of position ourselves in such a place that we can get the help and the grace and the mercy that we need. And again, not from a, not from a performance standpoint, not like earning it, but merely positioning ourselves in such a way that we actually can, I, I don't know, like if you see a waterfall coming down and you want to get wet, then you move towards the waterfall. So if you see that God is a God who helps and a God who saves and a God who serves and loves and you want to get in that waterfall, you better draw near to that waterfall. And so listen closely to me, verse two, listen closely to me, rescue me quickly, be a rock of refuge for me, a mountain fortress to save me. I just love the the visuals there that the psalmist is pulling out. For you are my rock and my fortress, you lead and guide me for your name's sake. And I just couldn't help but uh, hear Psalm 23 jumping out at me uh, when I read when I read that verse, you lead and guide me for your name's sake. He, he leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. So I love seeing that consistent message. He's about leading you into the right places for his name's sake, to bring honor and glory to his great name. So he is very motivated to help us get into the right place because it brings honor and glory to his name and it draws people to him. Then verse four, you will free me from the net that is secretly set for me, for you are my refuge. And I love that even the, even the traps, even the things that you cannot see, God is able to set you free from those trappings. And so we don't have to be concerned about necessarily being able to see everything, being able to identify everything, being able to discern everything. We can trust in the goodness and graciousness of God to, to cover us to rescue us, to save us from those traps that are secretly set for us and to be our refuge. Into your hand, I entrust my spirit. You have redeemed me, Lord, God of truth. Um, I love that identification of the Lord right there, the God of truth. Uh, in, in a world so full of deception and lies, it's nice to remind ourselves he's not a man that he should lie. He's the God of truth. The Holy Spirit comes upon us to lead us and guide us in all truth. And so I just uh, really appreciate that identification of the Lord there. It's almost like there's this little uh, hearkening unto Jesus on the cross. Like Jesus set the example into your hand. I entrust my spirit. You have redeemed me um, that, that Jesus entrusted his spirit that he gave up his spirit into your hands. I commend my spirit. He prayed and then he died on the cross. And that, that that is the thing that then opens the door for our redemption is for us to entrust our life, our spirit to God and say, God, it's all yours. It's in that environment that we can experience the fullness of the redemption God has provided for us. I hate those who are devoted to worthless idols, but I trust in the Lord. I will rejoice and be glad in your faithful love because you have seen my affliction. You know the troubles of my soul. What, what a great de declaration of who God is and how much he cares for us. His faithful love because he has seen my affliction and he knows the troubles of my soul. 
and has not handed me over to the enemy, but set my feet in a spacious place. And I just, what a beautiful testimony that is of the goodness of God that, and I love, I love those two statements because you've seen my affliction and you know, the trouble of my soul. God is not unfamiliar. God is not separate from you. He is there. Cast your cares on him because he cares for you. Come on. Can I get an amen out there? Somebody put an amen in the comments and like and subscribe. Okay. But I mean, what an incredible promise uh, from God. Put your feet in a spacious place. Be gracious to me, Lord, because I'm in distress. My eyes are worn out from frustration my whole being as well. Like the psalmist knew what it was like to kind of be at the end of your rope. And God's not afraid of people that are at the end of the rope. He can handle, he can handle your tough stuff. Indeed, my life is consumed with grief and my years with groaning. My strength has failed because of my iniquity and my bones waste away. I am ridiculed by all my adversaries and even my neighbors, I am dreaded by my acquaintances. Those who see me in the street run from me. I am forgotten, gone from memory, like a dead person, like broken pottery. I have heard the gossip of many. Terror is on every side. When they conspired against me, they plotted to take my life. So we're going to actually leave it right there for today. We're going to leave it right there. We're going to leave you hanging with the the place of the psalmist in a place of just brokenness of overwhelmedness and what uh, it, it popped up a little bit on the screen there. So you, you'll see a, li- a little, a uh, little sneak preview into tomorrow's devotional, but, but sit in that moment for a minute and just think about my strength has failed because of my iniquity, my bones waste away, ridiculed by my adversaries and my neighbors dreaded by my acquaintances those who see me in the street run from me i'm forgotten gone from memory like wow what a what a dark hard rough place to be and what are you going to do when you're in that place and we're going to see tomorrow what the psalmist chooses to do when he's in that place and i think that's going to be a great great word for us but just to wrap it up today um to think about Verse one, Lord, I seek refuge in you. Let me never be disgraced. So seek refuge in the Lord today. Direct other people to refuge in the Lord today. It's the best place we can drive people towards when they're in a rough place because he leads us and guides us for his name's sake. So with that, God bless you. Have an amazing day and I will see you tomorrow.